What's going on, Constable? Oh. The charge is reckless serenading. And that's against the law, England? It is when you follow sporty spice around a health club singing, let's get physical. Physical, Michael. Well, there's a perfectly good explanation for that. Yes. And what would that be? Well, I'll tell you something. If we had gone around singing, my baby's drunk, back in a kingdom, hey. you know, that would have been kind of inappropriate, right? I'm sorry, gentlemen. I'll take it from here. Thank you. Nice fellas, huh? I mean, compared to, like, all the other cops we met around the yeah. world, those guys are, like, the most polite. Well, that's nice, Jimmy. But the two of you came on this ship to learn, not meet police. Um, technically, if I, if I met, we're here to meet girls. <laughs> Look, this is your fifth international incident. Until the two of you can prove to me that you're ready to behave, you are confined to the ship. What? Uh, Find me. That's it. <clears throat> you boys attract trouble like I attract, well, boys. <laughs> hey, it looks like you guys won't be seeing any more London, huh? Oh, why, huh? You think people can't change, huh? You think people can't go straight? <laughs> I, I'll tell you something. I bet you, um, ten bucks that we can turn into solid citizens yeah. and get off this boat. Oh, yeah? Well, ten bucks says you don't. Oh, All right. yeah, oh, yeah, 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 man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody else? some great news class. Our very own Denise Williams has been selected to participate in the Academic Scholar Bowl in Oxford. The winner will receive a scholarship for summer studies at Oxford. We're very proud, Denise. And all we have to do is just stick to the rules and get off this boat, okay? Look at me, dude. I'm a rock. I can't be broken. Don't get cocky, right? It's only in 15 minutes. Oh, whatever. Oh. oh, hey. You guys know that lamer Bennett? You know, the one who put salsa in my, uh, <clears throat> athletic supporter? <laughs> yeah, dude, that was so fun. Um, <laughs> fundamentally dangerous and potentially harmful. Well, anyways, you want to come upstairs with me and launch a surprise water balloon attack? Huh? <laughs> no. We can't. Mm -hmm. Do I look like the kind of guy who wants to violate the dryness of a fellow student? <laughs> Is that a trick question? <laughs> no. You see, water balloons are prohibited on this boat. You just check your rule book, pal. Yeah, it's under section one. Wet inflatables. Oh, you got a book report, dude. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Moby Dick. Welcome to Vic's Books on Scene Finder Club. Oh, this is my scam. Not anymore. Ballad put you in early retirement, remember? Anyway, for ten dollars, you get your Moby, your Grapes of Wrath, your Scarlets, both Pimpernel and Letter. Oh, dude, the Scarlet Letter Babe is sweet. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Can't take the chance. All right, dude, we're totally out of harm's way, man. We can't get out, no one can get in. <laughs> no, we can't get in any trouble. <laughs> Hello, boys. Who goes there? It's Cassidy. We're having a pillow fight tonight at midnight in my room. Hi, are you, Cassidy? Are you? We'll be wearing our baby doll pajamas. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, no can do. Go away. Let me do it. And I'm gonna get these boys to crack. Jimmy? Yes? I snagged Nigel's key to the kitchen. <laughs> you know there's a commandment against that. <laughs> Need I remind you that it was German food night? That means leftover sauerbrauten. Back off, Bussy! I will not be tempted by heavy Teutonic food. <laughs> Leave us be! <laughs> a true survivalist plans ahead, huh, oh, Schnitzel? <laughs> <laughs> Denise! Look! Why don't you wear this? I'm going to reception with the Oxford faculty. Not a Nine Inch Nails concert. I want to look intelligent, 
But here, you know, kind of like Oprah meets Queen Latifah. What do you think? Oh, that is perfect! That's perfect! Mm -hmm. This totally reminds me of this time on Sabrina the Teenage <sighs> Witch when she's trying to decide what to wear the witch's council, actually. Um... Um... Actually, I really wish that I could go with you to the reception. Oh, no, it's... I don't think it's your kind of party. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that I'm saying because it's all geniuses or anything. I'm, I'm not that I'm saying you're not a genius. It's just, you're, well, do you want to come? Yes, I would love to come. Yes, oh my goodness, and I can just see it now. It'll be me surrounded by all these super smart people talking about really important, intelligent things and using words, I'll be using words like um, anti-disestablishmentarianism. That's the biggest word I know. It's big. I know. Nonsense! The only realistic conclusion is that the semanticists were seriously flawed. Flawed? Well, I've heard some impotent arguments before, but this, this is egregiously indefensible. What well, was the first translation of the Odyssey that captured the subtle nuances of Homer's original? Hmm, I'll have to get a copy of that. Hmm. Jamira, do you enjoy Homer as well? Um, uh, anti-disestablishmentarianism? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the biggest word she knows. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Look, I ain't worry about it. All we gotta do is stay clear, get on Captain Ballard's good side, and win this bench, okay? <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey. Nice to see you. Hey, Jimmy, best roll. Oh, no, my friend. <laughs> Well, oh, that's how it all starts, man, with the roll, right? I toss it to you lightly, and it glances off your forehead, and it hits that guy. Next thing you know, he's got a pat of butter stuck all over his arm, <laughs> right? Then someone tells a joke, and I'm drinking milk, and it sprays all out of my nose, right? Possibly all over a girl named Valerie. And then soon, the kid over at the tray return is covered in chicken a king, and before you know it, we got a full-fledged, out of control, food fight! <laughs> Tell you know what it looks like, okay? I can ex I can ex <laughs> Stop the madness! People, put down your food! You must respect food. Food is your friend. All oh, rules. Rules! Rules are the glue that hold our fragile society together! That's Valor, chapter 5, verse 2. Can I get an amen? Amen! Oh! oh. Hallelujah, brother! Hallelujah! Oh, Valor. Valor, keep your eye on these kids. They're a time bomb. Oh. That's Captain to you! Again. It's been a long time. Not since my centripetal force destabilizer knocked your easy bake oven out of the running at the Bronx Science Fair. It was a nuclear fusion generator, thank you very much, and I came in second. Don't you always? Yes, so let me guess. You're here to compete in the bowl, too? And I look forward to trouncing you once again. So. What have you been up to, Miss 98th Percentile? I'm applying to Harvard. I'm already in early admissions at Harvard. I'm up for a MacArthur grant. I'm on the MacArthur board. Don't check your mail, you're already a loser. Oh, well, I have a puppy back home who really loves me. I have two, one of which I built using the spare parts from an old washing machine. Yeah, well, I bet it has your personality. <laughs> Look, 
I know we've made our mistakes, Captain, okay? But, <laughs> but this is London, and to deprive us of the opportunity to take in its rich cultural heritage would be a great loss. Yes. Hmm? Okay, maybe you two guys are right. Missing out on Westminster Abbey and the National Gallery, now that would be a shame. Oh, yeah, except for I think that um, he was referring to the uh, Wax Museum. I heard that Pamela Anderson statue was like bigger than life, Captain. Anyways, I'm sorry. Oh. Listen, we've been straight for 24 hours now. You know, we skipped a pillow fight, we dodged a water balloon attack, and we stopped a food war, you know? Huh? Okay, look, I'm willing to make a concession. You two can go into London tomorrow, but I'm gonna have to put certain constraints on you. Oh, yeah, man, we won the bet, got off the boat, got back in Ballard's good side. Too bad we're extras in Sister Act 3. Oh. And if you're following these sisters, we'll head over to Buckingham Palace. Alvin Fink! It's my worst nightmare. I mean, he's always been just a little bit better at everything than me. I, I can't stand the humiliation of coming and second him again. Listen, Denise, you can't let him psych you out like this. What, what we'll do is, is we'll study. We'll study really hard, okay? okay. It'll, be, it'll be just like that time on Family Ties where Alex B. Heaton pulls an all-nighter studying about the Declaration of Independence. And um, there won't be any more television references, i honest. Okay. I do not see how an entire season's plot lines of Little House on the Prairie is going to help me study American history. Well, duh. They're American. They live on a prairie. They, they're settling the West. It's, it's, it's historical and American. Okay. And actually, my favorite episode in that was when Laura Ingalls marries Almanzo Wilder, and um, they no. have No! Tamira! You, you are not helping! Okay, look, you cannot learn child psychology from Full House. And, and the Flintstones have nothing to do with cultural anthropology. No, no. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just trying in my own way to help. Well, then your way is stupid. You know, um, when you laughed at me at the reception, Denise, I thought that you were just nervous, but now you're being rude. If you were as smart as you think you are, you would realize that I'm trying to help. Dude, man, I don't know how much more of this I can take, man. Every time I open my mouth, that nun gives me the evil eye, man. <laughs> Buckingham Palace is the official residence of the Queen, with about 600 rooms and 50 acres of gardens. Hey, girl. Uh, I need to use the phone. Hurry up. <laughs> See, these guys, dude, they can't move or talk. Well, except for, like, the no talking part. It sounds like a pretty cool job, huh? Why are you talking? Come on, talk and give me. us a smile, huh? <laughs> oh, this is pretty good, dude, huh? Oh, I got an idea, man. You want a piece of this, huh? huh? <laughs> you who, huh? And they don't drink you who. Look at him, dude. He's totally parched, you know? Like a desert in there, you know. He's got that big hot hat on all day, and sweating in the hot English midday sun. And all you want is a little. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. You know you want it. <sighs> Guarding the palace is tough, sweaty work. Yeah. That's why after every royal occasion, I like to sit back, and relax, and refresh with a little chocolatey yoo-hoo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Uh, Please <laughs> Drank a bit too much, you who. Got to visit the little guard's room. Never drink too much. Dude, wait, 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 look. Now who's gonna guard the queen? <laughs> Jimbo, this has international incident written all over it. And our last two contestants. Alvin Fink, who goes to the New York School for the Extremely Gifted. And Denise Williams, who goes to school on a boat. Now, back to our game. The category, Geography. Name the island nation that was originally founded as a British penal colony. Australia. Right you are, Denise. Yeah, Denise. Yeah, Denise. Woo! <laughs> On to literature. He brought to life such memorable characters as Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. That would be Mark Twain, Alex. 
No, that would be wrong, and quite rude for not letting me finish. What was the real name of American author Mark Twain? Samuel Langhorn Clements. Correct. Babe, you can't go through with this, all right? Jim, I'm talking to you. Where did you get that? Yes. The score knotted between Denise and Alvin, we go to the tiebreaker question. The winner gets the summer scholarship, the runner-up, a case of Jolly Rancher candies. Contestants ready? Yeah. The final category is literature. This author adapted her childhood diaries into the Little House book series, chronicling the settlement of the American West. He's... Little House. Um... <laughs> no, no, they're married Alfonso. Go, 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 go. Laura Ingalls married Alfonso Wilder. Uh, Laura Ingalls Wilder! That's correct! Congratulations to Denise Williams, winner of the Academic Expert Scholars Bowl. Well done, Denise! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? Well, this is what we call the changing of the guard, Sean. Jim, you, you can't! No! 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 Listen to me! What are you guys doing? Attacking one of the Queen's guards is a serious offense! Not a real guard, it's my friend Jimmy no. playing a guard! Go hey! Hey! Yeah. Hey! You're no palace guard! Oh no, I was, um, um sort of, okay. um, temping? Let's go! Good! Good! Congratulations, D. Thanks. <laughs> Good job on that last question. Good kid. Well, I don't know if I've gotten it right if it wasn't for Tamira. Now, I'm sorry for being such a jerk. I guess your way of studying wasn't so stupid after all. Thanks. <laughs> Well, actually, I was going to tell you guys about this time I was watching Family Matters, and there's this scene with Urkel. Hey, and he... Alvin! Never mind. Alvin? Congratulations, Denise. If I had to lose to one person, I'm glad it was you. Wow. Well, I... Alvin, I've never heard you be so non-overbearing. <laughs> I know, I know. I've been an arrogant, insufferable, megalomaniacal, you know, you can stop me any time. Oh, no, go on. Well, Denise, you should know. I owe a large part of my intellectual achievement to you. Really? Whenever I was tempted to slack off, I knew you were right there behind me, ready to grab first place. You're the one who kept me going all these years. <laughs> wow. So all this time you were that hey, I would just... Hey, be... We're gonna go grab some coffee. You wanna come? Um, I'll catch up with you guys later. Cool. Let's go. Bye, See you, Denise. Hey, uh, you want to go to the coffee house? Do you like mochaccinos? Like them. I invented them. Oh, of course. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Think. I, I never noticed this before, but you're kind of a hottie. That's a good thing, right? Um, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> there you go. Have it all. Well, what was it this time? Uh, let's just say that the sedatives have kicked in and the queen is resting comfortably. Uh, uh, huh. Um, hey, you know about that thing she said about bringing back beheading? Oh. <laughs> she was kidding, right? Uh, I'm sorry, gentlemen. Uh, we'll be moving on to another country in a week or two. Yes. Bye, boys. Very sorry. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, Captain, um, there's a perfectly good explanation for all this. Oh, and I'm waiting for it. Um, never offer you who to a guy guarding the royal monarch, okay? <laughs> My office. <laughs> All right, everybody, double or nothing, they don't get to see I'm Denmark. Who wants a piece of this? Come on. Yeah. I'm definitely in for 10 minutes. All right. There, baby. Okay. All right, guys. All right, all right. Yeah. You know what, man? I learned something today. What's that? Hmm? Sometimes, if an international incident is going to happen, 
There's just nothing you can do about it. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. All right, everybody, check in. Five okay. minutes after we dock in Denmark, they should be under arrest. Absolutely. Absolutely.